Hey Gemini, welcome to Wild Pearl Tarot. Today we're going to be asking what is coming towards Gemini in the month of April 2024? What can you anticipate? Uh, if you've never been to my channel, I, I'm stoked you're here. Welcome. This whole channel is dedicated to making you feel loved and supported by way of tarot. Of course, that being said, not every reading is everyone's reading, naturally. So be real with yourself. If it doesn't resonate, consider checking out your moon or your rising sign. All right, you guys, getting right into it. Any love and support you can give back would be very appreciated. You can just hit that like button and let me know. If you'd like for me to pray for you, say hi in the comment section. Even if it's an emoji, something that I can focus my energy on. All right, what's coming towards Gemini? Only taking the cards that volunteer. Month of April 2024. What's coming towards my Gemini? I saw the Ace of Pentacles in there, you guys. So far, so good. That's a nice card to get right away. So, Ace of Pentacles, Five of Wands. We have the Ha. Huh. I feel like you guys are doing some hard work and getting unstuck. Unstuck from what? Could be a mode of thought, could be a scenario or a way of thinking. We'll find out. But First card out, Ace of Pentacles. This is money coming towards you. This is a gift, money, inheritance, a raise. It's going to be different depending upon your scenario. But all the Aces are like basically the universe being like, here you go. And this one has to do with your abundance. Um, could be straight up money, you know, depending upon the person. Uh, we have five of, of wands here, which I want to unpack. Typically, that's talking about... Hmm, a little competition or a little, you know, little chafing. And then we got the hard work card of the Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles is like you are getting very hunkered down and dedicated to what you're building, what you're doing, what you're working on. And then we have the Eight of Swords the upside down, which is a great sign. You are kind of being released maybe from a burden or obligation, a feeling of being stuck. Okay, let's unpack these, you guys. Ace of Pentacles, what does Tara want us to know? April 2024 for my Geminis. Right directly on top of the card, we have another card. So you might be, this pentacle is finding you at a time where you might be saving or you might be kind of keeping your resources close to you, might be in a, a place of scarcity a little bit, trying to be maybe uh, cautious about spending too much. Now, if this turns into a relationship reading, which so far it doesn't really look like, it looks more like um, a lifestyle work balance uh, financial reading so far. But this is doesn't have to be only saving money, but also keeping kind of uh, your energy tucked in. So I just wanted to say that for a good measure. More about the Ace of Pentacles, please, for April 2024. More about the Ace of Pentacles. And there's four of Pentacles. We have Queen of Pentacles flies out. And this is being responsive. So this is a very responsible energy here. Who is the Queen of Pentacles? Thank you. Queen of Cups on top and in reverse. Okay, so there's two there's two energies here. These are two people, and one is very responsible with our money. They're very they like to have money around so they can use it to kind of nurture others. These are people who are if you can't cover the rent or if you can't cover the bill, they want to be able to do step in and do that for you. They have almost a motherly vibe, um, and they can literally be a mother, but they don't have to be. This could be an Earth sign. It could be a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. It doesn't have to be, but it's got that grounded salt of the earth, very responsible energy very nurturing energy and then we have another character who is um uh they are they might be a little more sensitive emotional right now they seem like they might be out of balance it could be a situation that put them out of balance they don't have to necessarily be like this all the time but they could be a little manipulative they could be emotionally spending their money if they get emotional or if they get off of off balance like this the queen of cups in reverse they could be um emotionally spending so, um, you know, uh, being di the opposite of the Queen of Pentacles, which is a little irresponsible. So that, that makes sense why we get the Four of Pentacles pulling it in, pulling it in. And I wonder if you guys are in a scenario where another person might be spending your money or you're trying to add balance to a contrast, that contrast of energy. Somebody who uh, is loose with it and another, and you're trying to pull in the balance. We need more money. We need more money. You can't let it go. Can't let it go yet. Okay, Five of Wands. What is this Five of Wands coming out here about? April 2024. 
We've got the Knight of Cups. Nice energy. Five of Wands. Five of Wands. We have two of... This is finding solutions, you guys. All right. So somebody's coming forward. Could be the same person, the Queen of, of Cups upside down. But somebody's coming forward with a message. And it's a loving message. And it's in the in the middle of maybe some conflict. And um, so it could be like somebody coming forward and be like, you know what? I adore you and I care for you. And, uh, and this is, and that's more important to me than all of this. So let's find a solution. And so that's the two of wands. Let's, let's put this into action, some solutions around here. And maybe it was a long time in coming, maybe, you know, but the hanged man comes out to say, yes, maybe patience was involved, but there was a sacrifice in order to get some important perspective. And maybe that sacrifice was the conflict, was the dis-ease, which with the, the discomfort between the two of you, the discomfort even with the spending or the money situation in order to open the world back up and look out at the world like, what are, what's possible? Do we need to, um, do we need to, learn new skill sets? Do we need to uh, push for newer, better jobs? Do we, like, where's our solution here? Uh, it's so, um, it's, it's like an efficient, healthy energy that's starting to replace that, any kind of conflict. So then we get the hard working card. So it looks like there's a determination, it feels like here, there's focus. It's like, you know what you're working for. You know, you're not just working to work. You know that it's uh, holding things in a balance and many things in a balance, what you're applying yourself to. Then the world comes out. And the world is about literally opening up your world, closing off an old stage of life. And it's a very healthy closing off an old stage and opening a whole new chapter. And it's so positive. It's like anything's possible. And this is specific to the way you're working. So I don't know if you're communicating uh, over long distances or you're traveling, uh, but this looks like some of you guys definitely are. Because the world card is like opening a giant window into your life and it allows new energies and new influences to come in. My nose starts itching when I talk about that. And it's, that means it's important. <laughs> That's what I've learned to interpret. And uh, so I really want to kind of bookmark this, that what you're doing, uh, how you're focusing on your work in a new way, and how you might be collaborating or opening that window up in your life to allow new energies and new uh, opportunities to influence you. Keep going. It's a great energy. It is swords is getting unstuck. So tell us more about this for our Gemini's getting unstuck from poverty, scarcity. Look at this picture. Five of Pentacles talks about not having enough. Now in a relationship reading, how this interprets, it boils down to being ostracized, not or being misunderstood, pushed out of the group, pushed out from your lover. In a financial reading, this is literally your bank accounts not being where you want them, like feeling that your funds or your savings are depleted, not making enough, and you are coming out of this. So this is a mode of thinking as well. So it's a poverty mind set for some of you guys it could be feeling stuck um like doing things that you in that worry cycle around your funds around your money um it's getting unstuck in general so um let's ask a little bit more about this for our gemini's this unstuck feeling the five of pentacles what do they need to know this is great you guys april 2024 yes a milestone, reaching a milestone, new stability, some celebration, some healing. This, sure, emotional healing, why not? There's definitely emotional healing going on here, but it feels like you are recovering financially, big time. Awesome. You'll have enough money to maybe throw into your home, possibly a little bit of travel, possibly like ah, sitting back, going out to dinner or something, you know, some extra cash to, to, um, to, uh, I, I want to say, um, what's the word? Treat yourself. Indulge. That's the word I'm looking for. So I want to uh, reach out to Oracle real quick, and I want to get a general message just to tie this, tie this together. But in general, you are working with another individual who has been throwing life financially out of balance. You are getting money is coming into you or coming towards you, <laughs> coming into you. Don't eat it. Um, <laughs> you guys, there's a lot of opportunity for jokes there, 
Five of Wands, we've got the Knight of Cups coming out there, which it seems like it's uh, somebody who's saying, hey, I'm willing to work with you. I realize that there's some, uh, some things have been off balance here. And that's where it's like uh, gen solutions, opportunities, new plans start to come together, uh, forward motion after this period of restriction, period of, of uh, lagging and patience, some maybe some frustration around that. And then your focus gets heightened, you know, the world opens up, new opportunities, fresh thinking, and you are working hard for this. And that's what really kicks you, it's the action, it's the hard work, the focus that kicks you into this getting unstuck. You know, um, the eight of swords upside down, you're getting unstuck from this poverty state or this place of lack. And truly, because you are making a huge recovery here with the six of wands, leaving chaos or choppy waters, uncertain waters, and having something to celebrate. So now, what's our overall message? Tying it all together for our Geminis, April 2024 kindred spirits definitely tying back into that queen of, of cups that person you're working with who is that person for you guys gemini so i'm going to read a tiny bit about this i won't read so much that you're you're uh that you get bored if i can find it There we go. By selecting this card, you are reminded of the gift of kindred spirits. It may be affirming an existing relationship, prompting you to look differently at an ongoing one. Or it could be the universe preparing you to expand your horizons and readiness for a new meeting. Be aware of this energy at work and contemplate its relevance to your present situation. Whatever your beliefs, the mysterious resonance between kindred spirits is something we cannot ignore. Keep in mind that fate can sometimes conspire to bring people or groups together to gradually unearth a kindred spirit connection over time. All right, you guys, thanks so much for spending this 12, minute, 12 minutes with me. Uh, take good care of yourselves and please like and subscribe if you found this useful. Take good care.